A Tanjimaho animal shelter that just put more than 170 dogs and cats to death. Several employees from the shelter are also coming forward, telling their side of the story, calling for an outside investigation. Susan Edwards has more from Hammond. On Tuesday, Betsy Pittman heard for the first time about the massive euthanasia of over 170 animals at the Tangipaho Animal Shelter. It's disgusting and appalling to me. Today, Pittman, who worked at the shelter since 1998, resigned, citing an unprofessional and hostile work environment, although she admits she was worried this day would come. Lack of support for the shelter from the parish. She's not alone. Jay Calais is the former director of the animal shelter and left in September of 2007 for health reasons. He says during his nearly four-year tenure there, they had one outbreak that managed to save 80% of the animal population. To see this happen, I just I hope they get what they deserve because it's not right. Something's wrong. Parish President Gordon Burgess told Eyewitness News the outbreak was a dangerous viral infection inside the kennel. The shelter has been closed since Monday and remains under strict quarantine. Meanwhile, former shelter workers can't help but ask why, and they hope an investigation outside of the parish will find out. There's just the lack of concern for the, for the, uh, the lives of the animals, and it just... For no reason. I mean, that, that's the worst part. There's just no reason for it. Susan Edwards, Eyewitness News at 9.